level. I do like the night analogy. Would you have been a knight back in the day? Uh, no. <laughs> I'd have been a squire. Yeah. I would have fed the horses, probably. But, but done I'd it I'd have been a style. jockey. I'd have been but a jockey. In style, though. Yeah. I mean, the best, best dressed horse feeder ever. Yes, lad. Yeah, side wall, side wall. Looked like a painful, Long not yeah, painful, yeah. but a very heavy movement there from Borstrop. Strange movement, actually. He's ended up in that kind of a position. Down. Well, well we talk about momentum shifts, Joey. Yeah, I think Borstrop was 8 5 up in that third game. And then, what did Remy put? Six in a row together. Was it 11 8? It was 11 8, wasn't it? Yeah, Six it was, in a row, yeah. and then. Yeah. All in a talk. Well, we've also got another match to come, which involves Nick Matthew and Peter Barker. That should be exciting. Down. Tired error. That's a laboured error from James Wallstrop. For me, He's love. Been Fantastic for the first three games. Down. Another tired error. Four love, yes, right side, yeah, yeah. Ah. Hand out one four. Two, four. This could be trouble for Wallstrop. He's still in there. Goodness me. Oh, that's a no let. Oh, he could have got that, Joey. Yes, lad. Could have got that balls. Because of the velocity that Wallstrop is hitting down on the ball, it actually bounces quite high off the floor. Just watch this. 
sits up a bit. Who'd have boasted it? 2-4. He's moving that quickly that the Egyptian flag on his chest is actually yes. coming off. <laughs> if we go there, look, it's flapping around as he's <laughs> moving so quickly. No, you were, you're not kidding. Can you imagine if that if that does fly off in mid-flow and it gets stuck to James Walshot's forehead? Well, if, I think if the, that item comes off the clothing and onto the floor, he would actually lose the point. So he needs to be careful. Well, this is a brilliant fight back from Wilstrom. I mean, he is drawing on all his mental strength and stubbornness Three, four. here. Physically, he's in quite a bit of discomfort and he is knuckling down and not making it easy at all for a sure. It's 3-4, Wilstrop serving. Yes, like 3-4. That's unbelievable. PJ, this is such an example of Wilstrop. I mean, <coughs> he's out. not asked for a let. He's tripped over his Five own foot. Three. You see there, he could have easily have tried to blag that, which a lot of players would have done. Sure. And he's conceded the point. Easily have blagged that. Quality. Well played, well played. You hear the crowd, he's trying to boost Wilstrop. They will see. Hand out. Completely and utterly enjoying Four, this five. duel between these two warriors, but also the fact that Mr. Wilstrop is conducting himself in a, such a noble manner. We just had a little stretch there, Joe. It's the first time I've seen that of Rami in this event. He's bent over double, and that is not very common. We've had 68 minutes Five of all. quite brilliant squash. The last match between Gaultier and Rosner was around 75 minutes. It's funny, this feels as though it's gone a lot quicker, though. It's quite. It has quite because, bizarre, really. because of the. It has because of the quality. I mean, the quality of the Rosner Gaultier match was superb, but this is absolutely amazing. I don't know how he's got that so high. The way Wilshrop lifts his way out of trouble from sort of nigh on impossible positions is absolutely amazing. Oh my lord. This is extraordinary. It's going to be a mega rally. It's got to be a mega rally! Wow! Wow! That is an absolute shock and duck and. Oh my goodness me. Shaking hands. Rami Ashore loves it. We all love it. PJ's looking like the Joker out of Batman. He can't stop smiling. <laughs> oh, that was Six, five. absolutely superb. What do you right think to that, Precious? Right side. Stunning. In a word, absolutely stunning from Wilstrop. How Romeo Shaw managed to try yeah. and get this ball cross court. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> There's the retrieval. Straight drive, cross court comes across the body. Pure <laughs> reaction from Wilstrop. But the quality of the finish is what made it all the more impressive. <laughs> it's just, oh. It's going to be a no let. No let. He's going to review it, but I think this will stay uh, as a no let. A PJ. Sure video review on the no let decision. Backhand volley drop comes in from, he's trying to get through there. I'm not sure that was the best angle. This may be slightly better as he tries to go through. He's blocked off there. I think had Wilstrop not been in the way, know, he probably would have played a backhand boast or something. Was it a, a not enough? Was it wasn't it a great shot though, no, Joe. No, Watch how high this is. Was it a massive amount of interference? Yeah, there was, was a bit there. 
No let. Decision upheld. Assure has no reviews remaining. 7 5. Well, well, he's looking up to refocus and he's having to bounce on his toes because I have no idea that how James Walshrop has been able to do it, but he's at 7 5 with a two point cushion. But he will not stop long because we will have a massive increase in pace in Ashore, who's forcing Wallstrop backwards and then forwards. Now. That was so quick. So, so quick. You don't and get out. the perspective Six, back seven. home on TV or around the world where you're watching of how quick that is. It's the awareness, isn't it? The slightest opportunity when the loose ball comes in from Wallstrop, how quickly he gets his body adjusted and puts that ball into the open space. Here's trouble. Down. Yeah, he called it. But yeah. it, again, it was the length, wasn't it, from Remy Shaw. Put Wilstrop in under pressure in this deep backhand corner. Seven or le left. Well, this is pure Yorkshire grit. Well, that from chap Wilstrop. who was looking so peaceful in the crowd there, he's starting down. to look even more furred. He's confused by what's going on. He's never seen anything in his life like this. None of these Eight, people seven. have in Chicago. Well, we are into the business end. Can James Wallstrop take this to a fifth and final? Quick, there was interference there, but he played through the interference. And out. Just watches Wilstrop plays the ball here. Eight all. He nudges, but that's fair again, and that's the honesty. Yeah, well, he, you know, he's prepared to play it. I mean, it's, it's black and white, isn't it? It's so clear. Yeah. That's a great shot, both from both players. Yeah. Went for it, didn't get it. It's using terrific work and height. Well, Wallstrop's doing a good job of keeping Ashore in the move as well, Joey. Well, he's mixing them. He's yep. mixing those paces. Painful to watch. Oh, this oh, is the so, finish. It's so, so good, PJ. Absolute pleasure for us to watch. It's complete carnage for both these players, particularly Wolstrom. 9 8. Oh, what an experience. 9 8. <laughs> Boy, nearly. That could have been yeah. nasty. Could have been game over for a net. Left leg, nine eight. Left side. Oh, it's going to be a stroke. Stroke to assure. He's going to review this. This we'll is very unfortunate for Wallstrop. No other choice, really. Decision. It's a shame, but I think we'll see from every angle here no way that Ashore can play the ball. It's a tired shot, really, from Wallstrop. I'm not sure why we're going to another camera angle. Wow. Well. 
Stroke, decision upheld. Will Strop has no mm. reviews remaining. 10-8, right side, match ball. So Ramir Shaw on that penalty point puts himself in front of two match balls. Game and match. So there it is. Sure. Three games to one. A slightly flat ending, 8 but what? 11 8. What a performance. 11 8.